SN Today. Strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Wink Wentzendale. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. We, uh, have our current champion on who's really doing well. 22,700 currently, I think. Let's meet him first. And then a guy who uh, just might dethrone that champion, but of course, time will tell. Here's our champion. Here he is. Okay, here he is. Is right. His winnings to date in cash and prizes total $22,700, Wink. He's a high school teacher whose hobbies are skydiving and skiing. This is George Allen. And his opponent is a publications consultant and freelance photographer who is now working on a novel. Meet Mike Duckworth. Hiya, gentlemen, George. Uh, Let's oh, see, what is it, 6 feet 8, 250 pounds? Absolutely. Right on the money, eh? Uh, how you <laughs> come up with those numbers? Then? Yeah, <laughs> it's just, just, just incredible the way I come up with those. George, you have won so far, as I mentioned at the outset, $22,700 in cash and merchandise. You, of course, are champion. And on the last show, as we were wrapping things up, I remember asking you about the cat. You said that your wife will now be able to have a cat. Why is it you couldn't have a cat up to now? I mean, it doesn't take $22,000 to buy a cat. Well, we've lived in an apartment for the last 10 years that we've been married. And uh, it's come to a point now where we have enough. I think we can afford a down payment on a house. I think safely, George, you, uh, you've just made a statement that's very accurate. <laughs> hey, good luck on this show. Thank you very much. Mike, one of the answers that you came up with on this big board behind me was a picture of uh, George Kennedy, the answer to one of the questions on the last show. And you said something very interesting as we were closing the last show. We were chit-chatting. And tell us about that again. Well, I said I had a dream, but I think it was a, I had a nightmare that uh, <laughs> George Kennedy was going to be one of the... Uh, questions asking I couldn't think of the guy's name and so when I saw the picture there I kind of grinned because I thought wow there this time I know well you're lucky it came to you just at the right time <laughs> right Mike uh, we're gonna see now if some of these uh, answers can come to you at the right time as we continue on the last show you had tied once and you were in the middle of your second game and these were the categories that we were wrapping our questions around I know you'll remember chemistry you'll remember baseball foods faces funny ladies Arab world Israel Wild West and sex symbols and of course the board looked just like this. We have two X's for George and two O's for Mike. George is our champion. You go first in this round. Continue. Uh, I'll take food in the upper right-hand corner. Please. Food's upper right-hand corner, and I remind you, $2,600 currently resting on this game. This potent collection of spices, which is used in India to flavor meat and sauces, by a single Malaysian word. Now, for a block, name this spicy word. Curry. Right. C-U-R-R-Y, Curry. So that's it for a block. Put it up there. Let's move the categories around. In the pot now, $2,800. Mike? Well, I've got to go Arab world a block. For a block on Arab world a block. George, this Arab word, which designates the leader of a tribe, is also slang for someone irresistibly charming to women. To block, George, tell me the word. Sheik. Yes, or sheik. Sheik or sheik. So we put it over there for a block. Let's move the categories around on the board. Three boxes remaining, and those are the subjects you can select from, George. Sex symbols to block, please, Link. Again, to block, Mike, answer this question on sex symbols. $3,000 in the game now. This sexy superstar played a convict in the film Cool Hand Luke and an arrogant cattleman in HUD. To block, Mike, name him. Paul Newman. Right, the handsome Paul Newman. Put it next there. On the board now, we have $3,200 in the game and two boxes remaining. Mike, let's shuffle and see what comes up for you. Funny ladies and foods. I think I'll go with funny ladies up in the upper left. Answer this question on funny ladies, and we will have the second tie between George and Mike. Michael, answer this for a tie. Among the regulars on this popular television comedy series are funny ladies Lorraine Newman and Jane Curtin. For your second tie, name the series. Saturday Night Live. Right. Saturday Night Live. That's it for a time. We're going to take a look at nine new categories. We've got another game on the way to see these two right after this break. I don't know whether you'll ever get up to five contestants uh, to defeat, but George, if you do defeat two more opponents, you're going to win this. Listen. It's a brand new car. Buick Dramatic Sensory Limited, the mid-sized personal luxury car with a spacious, comfortable interior and classic exterior. The Century Limited by Buick. Now, 
As you may already be aware, in less than two weeks from today, we're going to have a very special event here on Tic Tac Toe. It's going to be a tournament conducted amongst eight very, very special people. And the reason they're so special, each one of them is over 80 years of age. They're indeed very special people. For example, meet Will Ahern. For the last 70 years, Will's been working as a song and dance man, and he still works at his profession. His interests are roping, trick riding, and dancing, and he's 83. Now, once again, they are all most unusual. They're all over 80, and they have very unique personalities, and some of the stories they tell will be most interesting to you. They're going to compete against each other in a tic-tac-toe tournament, the winner of which will receive $50,000 cash, plus another $50,000 cash for his or her favorite charity, or a total of $100,000 in cash. Please make plans. Put it on your calendar. Watch this tournament. It'll intrigue and entertain you, I can guarantee you. And it's less than two weeks from right now, right here on this station and Tic-Tac-Toe. All righty. Gentlemen, need I remind you, we are ready to begin uh, another game now. Your second tie, $3,400 in the pot as we begin with these subjects. Art, television roles, the 70s, magazines, potluck pictures, bills and billies, scary things, about words, and USSR. George, champ goes first. Let's try the 70s, please, Wink. Okay, the 1970s. George, on May 1st, 1971, the United States' newest rail passenger system went into operation with the stated goal of getting people back on the trains. Name this system. Amtrak. Right. Good for an X. Put it there. The 70s Amtrak. Put an X. Move the categories around. $3,600 resting on this game. Add to that, Mike. I got to have scary things in the middle. For $300 added to the pot, on Halloween 1938, this actor and his theater group produced a radio dramatization of the H.G. Wells thriller, The War of the Worlds. The nation panicked, believing we were being invaded. Mike, name the actor and then identify the announced invaders. Think about that. Mike, name the star of The War of the Worlds. Orson Welles. Right. Identify the announced invaders. The Martians. Right. Good for another O on the board. First O in this game, $300 department. Let's move the categories around. We're now playing for $3,900, and with every correct answer, we add to that money. Well, it was good for Mike. I'll try scary things, please. Again, in that category, George, this mythological monster had the body of a lion and the head of a man. It was immortalized by the Egyptians and today stands as a huge stone statue. Name this ancient creature. It's a sphinx. Right, the sphinx in Egypt. Put an X there. Let's jump in again. Okay, we've passed 4,000 now. That's $4,100 in the game, Mike. I'll need TV rolls to block. To block George, Mike, answer this. Actors Harry Morgan and Mike Farrell are two funny men who star as wartime doctors on this hit television comedy series. To block George, name it. Name the series? Yes. MASH. Right. Good for a block on the board. Put it over there. Let's shuffle again. $200. The pot takes it to $4,300, George. Well, to block, I'll have to go with Bills and Billies, please. Bills and Billies for a vertical block. George, to block Mike, actor Bill Daly plays the role of airline navigator Howard Borden on this popular television show. To block Mike, name it. Bob Newhart Show. You got it. Good for a block. Put it up there. Okay, on the board, four boxes remaining. Let's shuffle Mike and see what comes up for you. There they are. I think I'll try art in the uh, middle left there. All right, to add $200 to the pot to take it up to $4,700, Mike, answer this. One of Florence, Italy's great art treasures is a marble statue of David. Name its sculptor. Michelangelo. Right. Put it over there. Three boxes remain on the board. George, let's shuffle and see what comes up for you. You can select from those three. Do I have a choice? TV rolls to block, please. Not much of a choice <laughs> if you want to block Mike. $4,700 in the pot. Actor Dick Van Patten plays Tom Bradford on a popular family series. Now, for a block, according to the show's title, how many kids does he have? Eight. Right. Eight is enough. Good for a block. So put an X there. Two boxes remaining on the board. Mike, let's shuffle for you. You can select as we have $4,900 in the pot from those two subjects. I need a magazine down here to block. To block George and to get involved in a third tie, here is the question, Mike. There are three weekly news magazines in the United States with circulations over two million. Time is one of them. For the third tie, name one of the other two. Newsweek. Yes, the other U.S. News and World Report. We have a tie. 
Time, Newsweek, and U.S. News and World Report. Put it over there. Another two hundred dollars in the pot takes it up to five thousand one hundred dollars in the third tie. Gentlemen, we're going to show you now nine new categories. And of course, as you know, when ties are uh, prevalent on this show, the pot continues to grow. Let's take a look right now and see, as you play your fourth game, what subjects you'll have to deal with. Here they are. General science, take a letter, ships, fads and follies, political leaders, foreign words, redheads, France, and movies of the 60s. George? My wife's one. I'll take a redhead, please. Redhead. <laughs> All right, George. Be tough if you don't answer this. <laughs> This cartoon girl who became the subject of a popular 70s musical is rarely seen without her dog, Sandy. Name her. Little Orphan Annie. Right. Your wife's going to be happy. You got it. Put it up there. Let's move the categories around. Quick shuffle. Take this back to you, Mike. I've got to go movies of the 60s in the middle. In the middle. We're $300 to the pot, and it's now worth $5,300. Answer this. It'll be worth $5,600. Actor Sean Connery made five of the James Bond films during the 60s. Dr. No was one of them. Name two of the others, Mike. Here's some extra time to think. Shaking his head affirmatively, actor Sean Connery made five of the James Bond films during the 60s. Dr. No was one. Name two of the others and you'll have the center box. Goldfinger and From Russia With Love. Yes, you got it. The other two were Thunderball and You Only Live Twice. You got it. Put it over there. Let's move the categories around. $300 added to the pot. Takes it up to $5,600, George. Good to me last time. Redheads, please. Redheads again. Second time for George. A cartoon character boy who was created by Charles Schultz is hopelessly in love with a little red-haired girl. Name this forlorn lover. Charlie Brown. You got to know that's right. Charlie Brown. Put it up there. Let's move them around again. Put $200 to the pot. It's worth $5,800. Select. I think I'll go with take a letter. Okay, take a letter. First time in that category. Mike, your letter is L. L is your letter. This word for a mad individual is derived from an ancient Roman belief that madness was caused by the goddess of the moon. Name this crazy word. Luna. Is that acceptable? We need the complete word, Link. N complete word. Lunacy. Yes, lunacy or lunatic. Either one of those is acceptable. So we needed the complete word, we got it. Hey, we're going to continue with more of Tic Tac Go right after these words. When we bring a new opponent out for you to play, they don't want you to win a car, that's oh. for sure. All right, let's move the categories around now. $6,000 in the pot as we return to you, George, for a selection. No choice. Movies to block in the top, please. All right, top center. Block Mike with the answer to this question. In this 1965 spoof of westerns, Lee Marvin starred as a drunken gunfighter, and Jane Fonda played the title role of a school teacher turned outlaw. To block Mike, name the film. Cat Ballou. Right. Cat Ballou, put it up there. Four boxes remain, Mike. Let's shuffle and see what you have to pick from. As you continue in your quest to beat George, what do you I've like? I've got to take a letter in the upper left there to block. Take a letter. You're trying to block George with this answer. Your letter is P. P. This word for a young student is derived from a Latin term which means little doll. To block George, name this word. Pupil. Right. Very good for a block. Put it over there. Three boxes remain. Three boxes on the board. Let's shuffle. And George, you can select from those. Oh, it's been so nice to me. Redheads, please. Third block. time you've taken that one. Redheads. The hit television comedy series, I Love Lucy, starred redheaded Lucille Ball as the wife of a Cuban band leader. What was their last name in the series to block Mike? Ricardo. Right. Lucy and Ricky Ricardo. Good for another block. Put it up there. Two boxes left on the board. Let's shuffle, Mike, and see what you have to pick from. They are general science and ship. Well, I'll take a ship in the middle of the block there. All right, and in the pot, we have $6,600. You're trying to add 200 more to it. The Navy's first atomic aircraft carrier bears the same name as a famous starship on a popular television series. To block George, name it. Enterprise. Right. Good for a block. Put it over there. One box remaining on the board. $6,800 in the pot. Now, George, we're going to do one more shuffle, and you're going to see what subject comes up for you to select from. It is fads and follies. George, well, if you answer the question on that subject, in that category, we will have the fourth tie game between you two. You ready? Uh, here we go, George. I've been here before. Fads and follies to block, please. <laughs> in 1952, Millions of little caps equipped with spinning propellers were sold to eager American children. Now, for the fourth tie game, what was the popular... 
of these popular caps. Beanies. Right, and we have another tie. <laughs> another tie game on Tic Tac Joe and $7,000 in the pot. Let's see, George, last time we had a contestant come out to play you, I think you played six tie games against that person before you finally won. Mike, uh, you're now going to play your fourth tie game, and we have $7,000 in the pot. It'll be your fifth game and your fourth tie. Are you ready to get it underway? Huh? Let's go. Are you sure? Mm. Ready to go. <laughs> little nervous, but they're sure. All right, we're going to take a look at nine new categories, and the pot will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Here they are. Opera, country music, famous firsts, grab bags, strange names, state capitals, famous movies, mixed drinks, and Joe's and Joseph. You guys love punishment, don't you? Mm. All right, for your fifth game, George, select. Famous movies, please, wait. Famous movies. George, for your first X, take a look at this movie, please. This is the entire human cast of a 1979 sci-fi thriller. Name the movie. Fantastic Voyage? No, Alien. <coughs> Alien is the movie. So, let's shuffle the categories around. Still $7,000 in the pot. Mike, select, please. I think I'll try opera down here in the lower left. Opera it is. And here's your question on opera. This is an excerpt from a famous opera by Mozart. It tells the story of the marriage of a former barber. Listen. Okay, Mike, name this former barber. Figaro. Figaro is right. Good for an O. So you jump ahead in this game. By one big O, let's move the categories around. In the pot, $7,200. All right, George. Shoes on the other foot now. Joes and Josephs, please. Yeah, got you on the defensive. Joes and Josephs. This is worth $300. It's in the center box. His novels include The New Centurions, The Choir Boys, and The Onion Field, and are based on first-hand experience. George, name him, and then... What was his occupation before he became a writer? Think about that. Good writer, George. Name him. He's Joseph Wamba. Right. What was his occupation before he became a writer? He's a police officer. Right. With the Los Angeles Police Department. So we put an X there. Let's shuffle the categories around. Put another $300 in the pot. That takes the worth of this game to $7,500, Mike. Well, I'll go to Joes and Josephs up there at the top. All right, again, Joes and Josephs. This Joseph was the founder of the Mormon Church. He was also the mayor of an Illinois city and a self-declared candidate for president. Name him. Smith. Yes, Joseph Smith. Put it over there. Let's move the categories again. The pot now rises to seven seven hundred dollars. George, stay away from opera. I better go with Joes and Josephs in the bottom right, please. Third time in the category, a man named Joseph Bros changed his name to Tito after the Communist Party, which he helped organize, was outlawed in his country. He later became leader of that country and made himself president for life. Name the country. Yugoslavia. Yes. Joseph Tito of Yugoslavia. Put an X there. Let's shuffle the categories around. $7,900 on this game now, Mike. I'm going to have to go to state capitals up there. All right, you're going for a block on state capitals. To block George, Mike, the state capital of Carson City was named for frontier hero Kit Carson. To block George, name the state in which you'd find Carson City. Nevada. Yes, Carson City, Nevada for a block. <laughs> Put it over there. Let's move the categories again. $8,100 resting on the game, George. Oh, boy. Joes and Josephs to block, please. For a block on Joes and Josephs. To block Mike, George, answer this. This blonde comic strip star is idolized by his younger best friend, Joey, for a block. Name him. Dennis the Menace. Yes, Dennis the Menace for a block. So we put an X there. Three boxes remaining on the board. Let's shuffle the categories for Mike. $8,300 on the game, Mike. Well, I'm going to go to Joe's and Joseph's to win. If you answer this question, you will have a win, and you will have also $8,500. All you got to do, Mike, is answer this question to become our champion. For two years in a row, Superstar Joe Morgan won the most valuable player award in this particular sport. For tic-tac-toe and $8,500, name the sport. Baseball. Yes! For tic-tac-toe and the <laughs> My congratulations to you.
You now are the proud possessor of our good money, $8,500 worth. Mike, congratulations to you. And George, you don't leave us uh, until you have won a nice, tidy sum. <laughs> you didn't quite get to that car because no. of that guy over there on your left and one other player. But you do leave us with a lot of money and a lot of nice prizes, a grand total of $22,700. Congratulations you, to you, George. Thank you, thank you, George. We'll be right back. Right after we take this break. Mike, our new champ, tries to beat the dragon on the next show. Please be with us. We'll see you then.